All right, welcome back with your man, The Voice, the D.L. Marshall, with my homie, my brother, Mr. Bam Brown. What's happening? Fellow funny man, comedian. Welcome to the new All the Funny, where we give you uh, comedian interviews, I guess. Uh, we get a chance to chit-chat, talk about uh, some of the upcoming shows, some of the comedy that's going for. Uh, last time we got a chance to sit down, we had just came off the stage mm -hmm. over in Leavenworth, Kansas. Right. And uh, got a chance to talk with uh, Carrington Lopez. So we got Bam here uh, with us on today. Bam, let the people know how long you've been doing stand-up comedy. Well, I've been doing comedy for about uh, 18 months now. 18 months. Yeah, 18 a long months. time, man. I'm still a rookie. A little over a year. Yeah. And, uh, bam, you handle yourself real well on the stage, uh, the content, the material. Uh, where do you feel you vibe the best uh, with generating content? Uh, probably my family, man. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of kids, man. So I got 11 total. Woo! So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I ain't been saved, you know, all my <laughs> life. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, that uh, ain't an unsaved activity, well, per se. Yeah, but, well, you know. They was all with my wife. Right. You know oh, oh I got so you. I got a few. You got, here, you got few some there. little side babies. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> got, got a few side browns yeah. on there. <laughs> it's impossible, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I ain't trying to blow up you too playing much, spades man. a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got yeah. two in the positive yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. Man, but uh but just coming into a blended family, man, you know, it's a lot of personalities, mm -hmm. a lot of kids. Uh the wife brings her own, you know what I'm saying? And so uh I just kind of feed off of them, you know, uh, just looking at what they do, yeah, uh what they don't do, uh, and, and just go off of that, man. Real cool, real yeah. cool. Yeah. Now, so uh when you say you pull a lot from uh your family mm -hmm. uh and you're motivated and vibe off that. Do you have some things particularly that's off limit that you won't incorporate uh, on the floor when it comes to family, just out of privacy or probably feelings or all things ago? Well, before my wife started coming to my shows, I used to go hard, you know what I mean? But now that she comes to a few of the shows, you know, I try to pull back a little bit because they still are her kids. You know right, right, right. So I still got to respect that. Because <laughs> what I'm thinking it's in my just head. Comedy. Yeah, yeah, when we you get know, home, right, 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 ride home. Right, you know get reality. Saying? You're going to go from comedy to reality yeah, real yeah. quick. So, you know, um, I mean, I, I, I just try to, I mean, I keep everything halfway tasteful mm -hmm. uh because I, I still got to go back home yeah you yeah know, mm -hmm. uh then if the kids came to the show i don't want them to feel a certain type of way gotcha. you know what i'm saying gotcha. so I, I i put them in the show but i mix a whole lot around them you know so it ain't just about the stuff that they got gotcha. you yeah. and you know i can understand that because when we did uh the uh comedy for cancer relief yeah. concert yeah you know my youngest two were there yeah and uh, i have some comedy that i do that is based off of first marriage second marriage mm. and it just so happened that that first marriages with their moms and you know so i I'm, I'm very sensitive that i don't want them feeling like i'm dumping right but at the same time i'm not going to sacrifice yeah. the funny yeah. so yeah. you got it locked in with yours truly the voice the dl marshall comedian bam brown we have our all new all the funny show yeah. and uh, man what we do is we just sit down with comedians wherever we may be and try to get an insight on what they consider all the funny is mm -hmm. and uh, how they got uh, incorporated in the funny yeah. now uh you you the last time out i saw you kind of stretch some new material yeah. and when you were talking about uh cheating how many people in here cheating yeah like oh that was hilarious <laughs> now talking about the ride home how was that ride home with them well she said uh she said well because honestly man i was talking about her uh -huh. <laughs> and i don't think that it I don't think that it computed well all the way, you know. What right, I mean? right, she, right. Knew, she knew some of the basics, but she didn't. She didn't think I was gonna go into detail. So I think she was. She thought I was adding some other gotcha. uh, uh, gotcha. relationships in there. You know what I'm saying? Now, but we embellish a little yeah, bit to create a, yeah. a, a whole lot of humor. Yeah, yeah. But that one, that particular situation was all me, all her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, but when she thought about it, you know, and when I explained a few things, she, you know, it was funny. You know what I'm saying? And so now it's kind of like. She understands the, the the comedy that I bring mm. is generalized out of my house, so most of it is going to be about her, the kids, me, my life. Right. And so she's like, "Hey, man, if it's gonna get the bag, if it's gonna get the check, bring on the fun, man. You know what I'm for saying? For real, and so, and come get it. All yeah, right. Yeah. So now, uh, as we look now, you and I both 
Uh, we do clean comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, back in the day, I got a chance to be on BT Comic View. Mm-hmm. It was unclean. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I so believe. like real clean comedy I've been doing now since 2017. Okay. Uh, December 2017 was my first clean comedy show. Dope. And it's just been soaring since. Yeah. Now, a lot of times, and even here, mm-hmm. uh, some of our audience, they was like, Mr. Marshall, how are you doing comedy in a church? Because, you know, we have it so infiltrated with uh, cuss words exactly. uh, that a lot of times if it's not cussing, if it's not dirty, it's not comedy, it's not funny. Yeah. Uh, you now doing clean comedy. Yeah. I've, uh, how do you feel as far as when people say, how is it funny? Mm-hmm. Just because it's clean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I explain it to them. I want you. I want you to come. I want you to bring your mom, your grandma, even your kids. You know what I mean to my show. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I just believe, man, that there is clean comedy. There is comedy without cussing. I right. Mean, you know. Then once you see it, then everybody's like, "Oh man, that was pretty dope." Right. Just like uh, I believe when um, Steve Harvey did that one show that he did. Uh, uh, uh guys, not through. Yeah, yet. yeah. And he, he did, did that in Mega Fest. Yeah, mm-hmm. without cussing. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. watched. It, I watched a clip of it just today, mm-hmm. and um, just saw. Uh, it was. It looked effortlessly, but I know how his mouth is, mm-hmm. and so I know, you know what I mean. It was kind of tough for him, but right. uh, and sometimes it's tough for me because the things that I'm saying or things that I'm thinking, mm-hmm. uh, it it I have to overthink, so I don't say something sideways. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm mean, guy still working with me, right. <laughs> <laughs> so so. Uh, but I mean, once people see it, they enjoy it, and then they tell somebody else, "Hey, man, there is clean comedy. There is comedy without cussing. I really enjoyed that. Let me bring somebody else." Right. And you know, I you know me, I push the envelope. I push yeah. it a lot. Yeah. And, and I, I like the shock value. I think the shock value is the best setup for a comedic punchline. Yeah, man. And uh, the whole thing is that. When we were at the uh, comedy club, okay, uh, and uh, we had a couple come out, mm-hmm. and her husband hadn't been out the house in two years. Wow, man, ill, sick. Okay, and he was kind of like, oh, I don't know about no clean comedy. It might be corny, but that lady sent out a testimonial and and inboxed me. Uh, those of you that want to follow me, you can go to all social media at the D L Marshall. That's at T H E E. D.L. Marshall, and she was like, D.L., I just want to thank you because my husband hadn't been out the house, and he finally decided to come to a comedy show with me, and he said he hadn't laughed so hard. Damn. And I and it was the guy that was sitting right up front, and uh-huh. he first he was trying to hold it, and he just broke down, uh-huh. and he was just like, man, I never will underestimate or look at clean comedy the same uh-huh. because it's hilarious. And and to me, it's, it's surprising to me uh-huh. that people don't, see the hilarity in clean comedy when yeah. you start talking about like your sin bags yeah, and all man. that clean doesn't mean corny right i mean and we, right. we just because we're saved mm-hmm. it, we still touch and 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 exactly. it's up for you to pull out what the funny is it's mm-hmm. not for us to explain a mm-hmm. punchline mm-hmm. but you know hey that, mm-hmm. that's what it is but mm-hmm. we're sitting here with bam brown the hilarious bam brown man and we're just sitting up talking about all the funny and what makes our comedic mind clicks and uh mm-hmm. you can catch more of us on all the funny right here with the voice the dl marshall my man bam brown yeah, catch yeah. Us next time